Hey guys, it's me. Oh, well, you can't see me, but I thought I would do another video while um, I drove home and I wanted to talk to you about the Dagda and the work that I've been doing with him lately and just my experience with him in general. Um, I know a lot of us have an aversion to working with gods. Um, and when I say gods, I mean like male gods. Um, in our paths because we've grown up in such a toxic male culture which is fair I was the same way for a very long time but lately I've been working with um, the Dagda and it's been really great like really great so I started working with Odin in maybe 2011 and he's just he's great and when I first got into paganism I was working a little bit not much but I worked a little with Shiva and then right after that for maybe a good six months to a year I worked with Jack of the Jack and the Green and that was really cool so I guess an, I, I say that I was didn't work with a lot of male spirits, but I guess I kind of always have. Because I've also worked with Apollo, um, Freyr, and Ganesha. So I guess I have always worked with male and female spirits. But never as deeply as I have worked with Odin. And now the Dagda. So the Dagda... If you don't know, he's a, he's a Celtic deity... He's the father god of the Celts, much like an Odin or a Zeus. And he's the leader of specifically the Irish Celts, um, their gods, which are called the, uh, what, like the Tuatha de Danann? Or Tuatha de Danann? Tuatha de Danann? Tuatha de Danann? Um... And they're considered fairies, all of them. But that associated, association association didn't come until a little later. Um, they're also called the She. That title came later because they lived in mounds in the ground or underneath the earth. And a She is just a hill. I'm going to set you here. You probably are going to fall over. We'll see what happens. Anywho, he is so chill, so chill, like, so chill in my experiences with him. So, I'll work with other deities like Odin, who are opinionated, in my experience, and they want things a certain way, or they want, or some gods will want you to do certain things, or specifically want certain offerings. Or that you might even feel energy of them getting maybe upset if you do things a certain way instead of one way. I feel that way about my workings with Morgan Le Fay and with Odin. They have strong opinions about what they want from you. Um, but Dagda, I have not experienced that with him. He's just a very gracious god. Um, which he is called the good one. He's just so happy and so full of joy, but chill. Like he's not hyper. He's not exuberant. He's like chill. He's a very low key energy god, um, which I think is a testament to his power, because he is in, like unfathomably powerful. Like, the magical energy that he contains is, like... Like, the dude's got it. And I guess that's why he's that way. It's kind of that mentality of, like, I don't have to prove myself to anyone, not even to you human practitioners. Because he knows that he's the king god. Like, he is this massive energy. And speaking of massive, the stories that we do have of him he is very physically imposing. Not in a buff way, though. Um, he is usually portrayed as pot-bellied or very obese. 
or overweight. He's also sometimes portrayed as a giant because he is the son of a giant. Um, so he's huge. He carries a club with him usually. And sometimes that club is described as just being a tree. <laughs> like he's just carrying a tree. So that's how big he is. Um, and he also has a cauldron that never empties. Um, he loves to eat and drink. That is his thing. So giving him offerings of food and, and uh, liquid are like key for him, I think. But honestly, he accepts anything. Anything. I've just given him fresh water before. And I felt like he was very gracious of it. He wasn't like, that's it. He was like, this, thank you so much. He's so wonderful. And I think, I bring this up because I think that he's a really good candidate for people to maybe tap their foot into God energy if you have been kind of against it or scared of it or not sure. He's a good God to experiment with. So is Ganesha. Um, oh, you fell. Anyway, so is Ganesha. They're very good deities. Um, they're just so chill, they're so happy, they're so inviting and welcoming. They're not, he's, Dak is not really a dark deity, he is a light deity I would say. Um, but don't let that deter you either if you are someone who's more inclined to the darkness like I am. He's so cool. And he's kind of a... Like, he definitely has his own aspects that he rules over, but I would say he's kind of like a, like a jack-of-all-trades kind of god. He really has his foot in just a little bit of everything, and he will help you with just about anything that you ask him to help you with. Um, be it luck, money, fertility, um, anger issues, divination, truly anything. He will help you out the best of his ability. He's such a, he's just such a great god. And I think a lot more people should give him a shot. Now, one thing I think is really cool to note, I hope you can hear me, it's starting to rain pretty heavy, but one thing to note is that, uh, that I think a lot of you will like, is that he is considered the consort of the Morrigan. That's his, that's his lady. And there are several stories of them having intercourse. Um, sometimes they're placed at Samhain. So there's a story, for example, where... Because he's a giant. That he puts one foot on one side of the river. Places the other foot all the way across on the other side of the river. Morrigan does the same. Which, she's a shapeshifter, so she can be any size or anything she wants. She does the same. They straddle a river and have sex. Standing up, I suppose. <laughs> and I think that's fascinating. Some stories say that she has one foot in the water, one foot on the land, so does he, and they make love that way. I think it's fascinating to see him, again, she's such a dark goddess. And we have such strong opinions of what she is and what she's like. To juxtapose, juxta, did I just make up a word? To juxtapose her with him, who's so chill, so low key, so laid back, and such a light god, a god of light. They're a perfect pairing, in my opinion. She's so physically stunning and beautiful and alluring. She's a femme fatale kind of god. He's kind of bumbling, unassuming, some people might even say ugly, and he focuses on the light and the good and the joy and the happy emotions, but he, I say that, but make no mistake, he can throw down, he can throw down, he's a war god, he's a chieftain god for sure, I mean he's the god of the Irish Celts, and they were a very warlike people, so, very scrappy. I mean, there's the whole, you know, the whole cliche of, you know, the Irish temper and everything. So make no mistake, boy can throw down. 
But he's such a positive God, and she's such a, like, air quotes, negative God. They're just a great juxtaposition to each other. Like, tr truly. Truly. And I think if you work with them in tandem, ah, oh, you're sliding all over the place. I think if you work with them in tandem, you'll find, like, how well they work together. Um, which is wild, because for so long, I saw Morgan Le Fay, or the Morgan, um, as such a solo deity, and I do think she is, and she's such an independent woman, but if you work with her in tandem with the Dagda, you see a whole other side of her that I don't think you assumed was there before, a lightness to her. It's, it's really awesome. But, yes, I, I say... If you've been questioning working with gods, try the Dagda. He's a very Wiccan-friendly god. Um, if you've looked into Wicca, you probably have heard of him. But he has a the in front of his name, the Dagda, just like the Morrigan. Which shows, you know, that's a title. You know what I mean? That shows some importance. And, yeah. I, I just wanted to share that with you. He's wonderful, he's so kind, and I just, kindness is very rare in my life experience, with human beings and with people, it's not something I've encountered a lot, <laughs> and for me to find him a little while ago now, not that long, for me to finally work with him, I think says that I'm finally in a place to accept kindness from people. And I'm just so excited to see where the journey with him takes me. Because he's fantastic. That's it, you guys. Um, the Dagda. You should really look him up. He's really, really cool. I think you'll really like him. He's nothing like a male god that you think of. I promise. Bye.